odds are that you've probably heard of a Kairosoft game at some point in your life. They're pixel art simulation games, and if you look on the Nintendo eShop, you'll see a trillion of them, covering everything from ninjas to ramen to car racing, trains, parks, arcades, game development, malls, movies, and on and on and on. They look like mobile games, and that's because they essentially are. Kairosoft has been at the simulation game for a long time now, ever since the mid-90s, releasing most of their games over a decade ago on PC and mobile devices through the Wild Tangent Game Network. I've had Home Run High on my eShop wishlist for some time now. It's a baseball management sim with pixel art graphics, and that's pretty much my gaming tastes in a nutshell. But that $14 price tag and the fact that I couldn't find any good reviews on the game left it sitting on the virtual shelf. $14 for what is essentially a mobile game? Ridiculous. Especially when you see that these games usually go for around $5 on the App Store. I had played demos for Kairosoft games before and never really clicked with them, but something made me hang on to Home Run High. Maybe it was the cute graphics or the fact that I wanted a nice baseball sim on the go, but whatever it was, it paid off because I really dig this game. Now, is it $14 good? That's hard for me to say. I was able to snag the game on sale for $8, but the game will definitely meet my dollar to hour ratio, meaning I'll get an hour of gameplay for every dollar I spent, and that's essentially what I need out of a game to make me feel good about my purchase. But the main reason I wanted to do this review is because I couldn't find a solid review here on YouTube for this game, and so I wanted to get one out there, because if you like baseball simulation games and or pixel art, you may fall as hard for this game as I did. There are two main aspects to Home Run High, running the team and running the school. Running the team consists of player development, player training, player turnover, scheduling games, and managing games. You start with a set number of students, each assigned to a specific class depending on their age, and players will graduate after their third year at the school. At the start of each new school year, new students will arrive and join your team, but you can also recruit players from other teams during the year by winning games. Training players is, of course, key to your team's success, and knowing how and when to train your players is extremely important. You can use your practice fields, drills, and items for training. Practice fields allow you to set the training type and intensity, drills offer specific skill boosts for three specific players of your choice, and items are small skill boosts for one specific player. There's lots of room for customizing your squad through these various methods. So if you want to just focus on one player in particular and make them an absolute beast, you can. Or if you want to have a well-rounded team, you can do that too. You also schedule your own games, which admittedly I forgot to do a few times. There are single one-off games and there are tournaments. Although the game seems to call every game a tournament, which highlights a problem I have with the translation of the game not always being clear on what to do. At first, you'll only have access to challenge certain teams in your region, but as you play through the tournaments, you'll get calls from other teams outside the region offering themselves up as opponents. Winning games gets you an item and a monetary reward, but it also earns your players experience and gives your school fans, fame, and cheer, the latter being used in games to give your players an attribute boost in clutch situations. Here's what might be the biggest hang up for most people here, you don't actually play the games. You basically have two options, highlights or live. Live lets you see every pitch thrown either at normal speed or a bit sped up, while highlights gives you a play-by-play -play breakdown at hyper speed. When your team or opponent has runners in scoring position, the sim will stop and allow you to spend cheer points on boosting the appropriate player's attributes. You'll probably spend most of your time in the highlights mode, which means you'll get through games within a minute or two. Beating higher rated teams means bigger rewards. The other big focus of Home Run High is managing the school. You're given a square of land to build out your campus, and you can expand the campus as you go for a price. Different facilities will produce different currency for your school, which you can spend on school activity events, and where you place each building will have an effect on its rating and the rating of the buildings around it. 
Since the game really doesn't tell you much, your first playthrough will probably result in a mess of a campus, but you're given the ability to move stuff around at some point, so not all is lost. Leaving space for students to get around can be challenging as the space is rather tight, and expanding can cost quite a bit of coin to do the further you advance. There's something I find so fascinating about watching your students roam around this campus that you built using all the different buildings you've placed. Managing the bottom line is also key. You can spend the item currency to acquire sponsors that will kick in money towards your budget, so as long as you keep your spending in check, money management is pretty simple and easy. In fact, you can pretty much forget it's even there if you want. However, if you're able to maximize your earnings, that will give you the opportunity to build more facilities, which in turn gives you more chances to train your players, which of course gives you a better chance to win games. All the systems just play into each other in some way, which is the sign of good game design. Nothing really seems wasted here. I do have some annoyances with the game though. The music, while not terrible, loops frequently, and it can be a bit grating after a short while. The music quality is also not great. I mean, coming from a mobile game, you can kind of guess how the fidelity isn't quite there. The text, you know, anything that isn't pixel art is awful. It just looks amateurish and sometimes even overlaps making it illegible. And yes, there are constant reminders that this is built for mobile devices. The menu system is often a challenge and unintuitive to use. In handheld mode, you can use the touch screen, which helps, but even then I rarely find myself using it. You can also toggle to a cursor mode by pushing the plus button if that's more your style. Another gripe is that players will be recycled after a very short time. I think by my fourth year I was getting the same recruits I'd gotten in the first season. This can be fixed by manually renaming each player. I usually just change the first name and pretend like it's the younger brother or cousin of the older player. Still, I kinda hate that names repeat. I mean, why not have some sort of random generation here? As you play on, you can try out running different teams in different regions to keep the game fresh. I'm not sure how much longer I'll plug along with Home Run High, but I really don't see myself putting the game down anytime soon. It's not revolutionary, it's not the next big thing in sports gaming, but it's fun and it hits the spot for someone like me who loves sim games, baseball, and well done pixel art and it's made me respect the Kairosoft name more than I previously did. More of their games will go onto my wishlist, and while I still think $14 for each game is a tad steep, I'll definitely take a look at their other offerings when they go on sale. That's gonna do it for this review. Have you played a Kairosoft game before? If so, which ones? Let me know in the comment section below. You can also check out all my social media stuff down in the description. Until next time, this is Lex, signing out.